quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is taken just shy of the 10 here. Shreds the tackle. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Working from the gun, it's Breeze. It's caught by Mark Ingram. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. Nice little nifty play for him there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, hey, we got everybody cut. Oh, he just stuck out there. And they just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? And they were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. That good for 19 and a first down. And there we see an early burst that makes him one of the leading rushers in the league. Well, I want you to know, I listened to you yesterday when we were watching film. You said, write down the word vision for him. It was on display there, wasn't it? It certainly was, because he allows the blocks to set up in front of him. And if that continues, it'll be a long afternoon for those guys trying to play some defense. It'll be a Saints first down on a gain of 16 yards. Opening minute, and already a trip to the red zone. Second and right at a yard. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. A first carry now for Adrian Peterson. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. Ready. Ready. 12, 12, 12. They'll run with Peterson. And he is in for the score. Touchdown, New Orleans. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Saints take it right down the field and score on the opening drive. Extra point good by Hopkins. And it's now a 7-0 game. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. This will be taken very short. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. down and he's going to find his man out of the backfield that's complete six yards on the pickup and that'll bring up second down now charles what's the mindset here offensively you gave up the touchdown pretty quickly would it have changed if you had gotten a stop and it would be zero zero right now or no i wouldn't think so i think in most cases just down a touchdown you know i mean we're just getting started here it should be a long way to go you think to yourself, stick with the game plan, all the things you worked on in practice. Road early, they got one. And don't think they were above all week long pointing out to their defense that the other defense is rated higher than them. You gonna let that happen, guys? Is that how we're going to play? And they responded to the challenge. Here's Jacobs. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. That'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And that's going to make it second and 14. Yeah, 46, the outlaw. Mike's 47. I got one, I got one, I got one. Now Murray throwing on second down. I'm coming after you. And this is caught. It's Jimmy Graham. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. 
On first and ten, here's Murray escaping the under pressure, and he'll go down. They'll sack him on what ought to be the final play of this first quarter. Cameron Jordan wreaking havoc with a sack. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Well, they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. Murray going to throw. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. It's the linebacker, Alex Anzalone, and they'll set up shop in enemy territory at the 45-yard line. Ready? This is Ingram on first and 10. Ingram's got the first down and more, and down to the 29-yard line. It'll be a Saints first down on a gain of six. Saints first down on a gain of 16 yards. On first and 10, here's Breeze. And this is Cook with a grab. Drop defenses on the board. We do account for every receiver. But on that particular play, somehow he was wide open, became an easy touchdown pass. On is Hopkins now for the extra point. And it's good to make it 14 0. Boy, I guess they're going to keep trying to put the pedal to the metal here. They're going to try an onside kick. And this one won't bounce their way. It's covered up by the hands team. Go, a second quarter onside kick there that failed. Is that something that maybe they had dialed up before this game started? It feels like it, doesn't it? That they thought they had the right situation, you know, and, and the right approach and going after it. Also may signal that they feel like they have the superior team, that they can try these sorts of things and it won't come back and hurt them later. On second down, Jacobs. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. So third and two, this quite possibly four down territory, though, if they're stopped. Try to run for it with Jacobs. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. But just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. On first and ten, it's Sanders. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. Another example right there how this defense really is winning the entire game at the point of attack. Yeah, right there at the line of scrimmage because they are dominating. It allows their interior guys to get upfield and spill into the backfield. This game back with it, a touchdown now as the kickoff's away. So a very short kick here. This will be taken by one of the up men. And a pretty slick return there as he's up just shy of the 45-yard line. Now that's the kind of return you're looking for. To get to that spot on the field, that allows you to do a lot of things on offense. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. Breeze now on first down. And that is incomplete. He could hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. Breeze hands to Ingram. And he will cross the 30 down to the 29-yard line. They got to get it to the 21 here on third down. 
To throw is Breeze. He's going to let it go deep for the end zone. Back of the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. It has to be a nice feeling. Right when it left his foot, knew it was good. Yeah, just like a good three-point shooter in basketball, right? Release the ball, fall back on defense without even looking. You know it's going in the hoop. This will be taken short. And he's all the way up across the 40 and down at the 42-yard line. Great return. Any return to get you to midfield is a great return. One first down, and you're almost in field goal position. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two minutes. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Brings up second and five. At the 47 yard line. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Murray's going to keep this himself on the RPO. Murray fighting, lost the football. And this is picked up by the Saints. And a huge return as he'll take this one all the way down inside the 30-yard line. When I see a play like that, I come back to risk reward. I don't know about you, but is it worth it at that point, whatever you're going to pick up, to either take the hit and in this case, lose the football. So should have gone down. I mean, hindsight's always 20-20, but that's the safe play. You're exactly right. Hindsight's really never wrong, is it? Because you can analyze it. But I think ultimately you got to look at it as a first option, taking care of the ball, getting what you can, and that's it. Don't worry about it anymore. Hey, defense, let's go. Pick it up, D. First and goal at the three-yard line. When I see a play like that, I come back to risk reward. I don't know about you, but is it worth it at that point, whatever you reward? I don't know about you, but is it worth it at that point, whatever you're going to pick up, to either take the hit, and in this case, lose the football. So should have gone down. I mean, hindsight's always 20-20, but that's the safe play. You're exactly right. Hindsight's really never wrong, is it? Because you can analyze it. But I think ultimately you got to look at it as a first option, taking care of the ball, getting what you can, and that's it. Don't worry about it anymore. Hey, defense, let's go. Pick it up, D. Don't worry about it anymore. Hey, defense, let's go. Shotgun now for Breeze. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by the Michigan man, Jabril Peppers. He's at the 50, the 40. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. His guys take over back at the closing stages of the first half. down Jacobs and now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the nine now a timeout taken perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry we'll see and you see the clock almost empty so this is likely the last play in the second quarter they run it with Jacobs and he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown Josh Jacobs in the final seconds of the first half, as they are now just an extra point away from making this a three-point game. Terrific. Touchdown. I know we've got a game now. Yeah, I think anytime you go to the second half, down just one or two scores, you feel not where you want to be, but in a pretty good spot. And I think for most teams, when they go into the half in this situation, it's not a lot of adjusting going on. It's much more, all right, guys, let's just play a little bit better than we did in the first half. So just a three-point game now as they send this one away. 
This one taken from the seven. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, getting set for quarter number three here. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. Fielded about a yard deep. And he will be brought down here at about the 17-yard line. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. They're close. First down, Jacobs. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. They run it with Jacobs. And he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. Josh Jacobs. In the final seconds of the first half, as they are now just an extra point away from making this a three-point game. Terrific. Touchdown. I know we've got a game now. Yeah, I think anytime you go to the second half, down just one or two scores, you feel not where you want to be, but in a pretty good spot. And I think for most teams, when they go into the half in this situation, it's not a lot of adjusting going on. It's much more, all right, guys, let's just play a little bit better than we did in the first half. So just a three-point game now as they send this one away. This one taken from the seven. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, getting set for quarter number three here. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. Fielded about a yard deep. And he will be brought down here at about the 17-yard line. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. They're close. We talked about cleaning up some of the errors. But overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up. And we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. On first down, they go with Jacobs again. And this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Good, strong run against the 3-4 set. And that 3-4, you've got to have you guys up front eat up a lot of blocks. The guy playing over the center, the nose, he usually has to take on double teams. But when you're able to successfully move him, you're often able to get some yardage. And that's when linebackers have to clean up and make tackles. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. On play action, it's Murray. This one caught by Terrell Owens. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. Results in a first down. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 35-yard line. They'll run on first down. It's Jacobs, and that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. They'll wind up losing three yards here, and that'll make this a second and 13. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. Just a yard there, so it brings up a tough third and 12. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game. Throwing is Murray on third down. And he'll get this one complete to T.O. 
And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 20-yard line. From the red zone, here's the Heisman Trophy winner, Murray. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Kiko Alonso, the blitz works to perfection as he gets in there to dump him for a loss of eight. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Throwing now is Murray. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Demario Davis coming in for the sack that time. But nothing takes a start to have a good drive quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? Now, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Call it a gain of four, and it'll bring up fourth down. A 46-yard And this is right down the middle as he puts it through. And that will tie things at 17-all. So they come away from this opening drive of the third quarter with only three, but it does draw them even. Yeah, and that has to be job one, doesn't it? A touchdown definitely would have been nice. We know that. But here, you get back on even terms, and now you've got most of the second half to try and get yourself into a position to win. And he's all the way up across the 40 and down at the 42-yard line. Great return. Well, someone wasn't very happy about that game being tied up. They came right back at him with a big-time return. They want to get back out in front as fast as possible. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their own 42. Up for negative yardage, so here's second and 11. On second down, here's Murray toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. He was trying to get it to Tyreek Hill that time, and it's third down. If you're a defender, one of the fun things about playing zone defenses, especially in today's football, is that it's not as static as it was in the good old days, meaning you just dropped to a point and reacted to the football. Now you end up with a lot of man-to-man -man principles once you get into your zone defense. In other words, get to your assignment and then locate a guy coming into your area, and then you end up covering him almost man for man. That allows him to make more plays on the football like the one we just saw there. That one good for 14 yards. Murray now on first down. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. It'll be a two-yard gain, and it's a second down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. On second down, it's Jacobs. Call it a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave him with a third and about five. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far, and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. And that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. I know they've got to be careful not to go to the well too often, but it's a fine line, isn't it? Because sometimes, if you've got success, you want to just keep pounding away. But no success there. They rallied quickly on the defensive end. Murray now being chased out left. And able to catch it, but he's out of bounds. And the throw took him beyond the sideline, and it's going to be a turnover on downs. So the fail, good chunk of time on the clock and the timeouts. Yeah, not only do they have the timeouts, as you just Ready. noted, waiting, they're going to get an extra one with the two-minute warning. And I that's going to help them big way. So in a sense, they have four timeouts in their pocket. The big thing, stopping them on defense now. They can't let them get a first. There goes Mark Ingram. Touchdown, New Orleans. Mark Ingram, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Saints able to stretch that lead out further. He's turning in a heck of a game. He's creeping up towards 200 yards, a pair of touchdowns now to go along with it. There's so many things we can talk about in his game because we're seeing it all from him. But I love his vision. He's seeing the holes develop. He's seeing holes develop before they actually open. He's making sure he's getting to the right places, very decisive in his cuts, but his vision has been the key to all these big runs in this game. And on that last long run, we got a pretty good look at his speed as well. 
The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Yeah, we'll see if they can recoup and recover. From the 41, Murray. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on, third down. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. To throw is Murray. And he will find T.O. That's complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. The run defense, they have been porous at times today, but not that last go around. No, they really tightened it up, didn't they? They finally got themselves a win because all game long we've seen them get gashed. This time they played the responsibilities, played their keys, and made a nice stop. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Marcus Williams. And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. Certainly not what he was hoping for, Charles. That's now three interceptions in this ballgame. But there's a lot of knowledge to be gleaned.